we go. We're off. We're driving. We're moving. I've just left my house. And we're heading off to the retreat. <laughs> I can't actually believe that I'm going. I, I, I was sure that something would happen that would prevent me from going. Something would happen. Something would come up. Someone would get sick. Someone would get really upset. But no. None of that has happened. I'm actually leaving and I'm leaving a little bit ahead of time it's 20 to 9 on Friday I plan to leave by 9 so that's good probably get to the Blue Mountains about maybe 3 o'clock maybe a bit before we'll see hopefully I don't hit bad traffic going through Sydney that could be interesting but we'll see how we go so there we are Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. the Mirabilia Retreat, and you're not. <laughs> um, and I'm here with some wonderful people who you might recognise. And if you don't, you need to subscribe. You'll all know this hi, lovely lady Jen here. Fred Say hi. She's had she's had a cocktail and two glasses of wine. Say hi. Hi. Oh, it's, it's like half, yeah. Okay, there we go. Hi, I'm Tipsy Stitcher. I don't film anymore, but um, I will. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, you need oh, 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 that's really good. Oh, 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 that's alright. Hi, Joe, Vintage Chic Stitcher here. It's so cool to be with all these ladies. She's having motherly guilt. I am. Yes. Severe motherly mother guilt. guilt. Yes, Aww. yes. Oh, there we go. Pen round. <laughs> uh, so apparently, this is a stitching retreat. <laughs> <laughs> We're drinking. <laughs> Stay tuned. Retreat <laughs> in Katoomba. We've been here for two days. We've had some cocktails. We've done some stitching. More cocktails. More cocktails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Talking. we've been having a fabulous time. Yeah. Lots of chatting, lots of eating, lots of drinking, mm -hmm. lots of stitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And we thought us floss tubers would get together mm -hmm. and maybe make a little video and tell you a bit about what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing, Joanna? Vintage chic stitcher. <laughs> I have been working on my Mirabilia Christmas Elf Fairy. I'm just going to put that up and do a closer. Woo! You've been beating. Okay. I've been beating! Um, wing is almost done. Got a little bit of beads on the Christmas tree. I had hoped to finish this before the end of the weekend, but. And you will. Well, and you will. Oh, you well, will. You've still got. We are. We've got about three hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Three hours. Yeah, we'll get heaps done yep. in that time. <laughs> yep. Yep. And yep. how have you found? How have I you found the retreat? <laughs> well, of course, meeting Nora is always Amazing. awesome. She is. She is just such a fantastic lady. Just a beautiful person inside and out. But I have to say, the highlight has been meeting you guys. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> friends already even though we've yeah. only known each other like two days and we're, <laughs> we're actually exactly like we are like no, i'm right. like i kept saying that so many times i'm like you sound exactly the same yeah yeah everyone's exactly the same as yeah. what we thought yeah. so that's been and, yeah. and nora is 
more Amazing. generous and friendly than you could ever. Oh, just realise the pornography that yeah, is yeah. <laughs> I want to take it down. And I didn't do get it. one of those in my room. We're in Jan's room. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So Jan. Yeah. What have you been doing? Well, I had um, a podcast. Thread Garden. Say Jan. Mm -hmm. I'm Jan for Thread Garden. <laughs> Uh, um, I had a pot of tea with Nora today. Oh, it's very special. Oh, so it's really special. So mm. I love that. That's probably been the highlight. Mm. Um, but I've been working on, um, still working on the Enchanted Mermaid. Which it's is amazing. It's stunning. Stunning. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll give that close up. Uh, so um, it's taking forever, partly because I'm doing one over one skin. And partly because you were trying to turn her into a frog lady. Yeah, true. I had to frog some colour. I did dark green instead of dark brown. <laughs> anyway. can, we, can we show the back? Because the back mm. is just as exceptional as the front. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's we're going to show Jen's, Jen's oh. back. Sorry, we're showing her back. Oh. Yeah. We're showing her back. So Look at that. My mum drumming, drumming into me when I was a kid about yep. back, knee backs. It's beautiful. Yep. So yeah, backs yeah. when they mattered. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what did... Um, your, your tea drinking time with Nora, you were having a little private chat yeah, there for a while? Yeah, we were just talking about our lives and um, mm. just talking about um, wanting to get back into a design studio. Awesome. Mm. And just where she lives and what she thinks of Australia. She's so genuine, isn't she? She's so incredibly lovely. genuine. So lovely. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so she's a lovely person and I feel privileged to talk about her. Mm. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. If you'd like to Hi. Okay. share with us what you've been doing. Yeah, Tipsy Stitcher. <laughs> Nora moment. Yeah, my special Nora moment was I won the Lucky Door Prize and my name got Woo! called out. And I'm I stood excited. there and I was just like, is that me? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I won um, Earl Grey Tea signed by Nora 2013. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Design process. Yeah, One it's of amazing. original sketches, so it's very special. Signed at the bottom. And it's now in a small cross stitch. Mm. Yes, so I now Is need it? need to yeah. stitch it. Ah. So she's going to have to stitch that yeah, and mount it. Her. We're going to yeah. have provenance of the fact that it was actually a genuine mm -hmm. sketch. Because some, yeah. Nora's had sketches here for sale and ones that were um, that size were at least $250. So we reckon yeah. this one's pretty special. So yeah. it's, it's, it's actually worth a lot of money and it's, it's mm. so beautiful. The pattern yes. might be out of print and might cost you a couple of hundred dollars. Um, <laughs> I've done two starts. So yesterday I started the Dreamer, which is out of print. Can you see that? Yeah. Out of print. Out of print. Ooh. Here we go. And this is on Color Cascade Fabrics Raspberry Swirl Custom Cut. It's beautiful that color. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Love it. It's pink. The <laughs> colors yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's a close yeah. up. You can't yeah. see anything from yeah. there. So yeah, I started at the top. And that's what I got done yesterday. Not much because too busy gas bagging. Mm. <laughs> that colour's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's going to be really long. Like this is a thirty-inch piece of fabric. So mm. yeah, yeah. It's the same yeah. colour as Matt's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a pink. <laughs> and then today I started the what is this? Sleeping Beauty. I keep getting Sleeping Beauty and Sleeping Princess mixed up. Yeah, I've got mm. Sleeping Princess. And mm. this mm. Tash. She left it here. I'm gonna keep it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it back to you. I'm gonna get it back to you. <laughs> Tash, the star <laughs> Yes, who's missing? Yeah. Yeah. Check, check her out. She's yeah, amazing. she's awesome. Yeah. She's amazing. Shout, Tash, we'll do a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. Tash, <laughs> across the star Tash. 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 <laughs> yeah. I had dinner with her last night. She's lovely. Yep. Yeah. Love it a bit. And this is on Silver Springs by Color Cascade Fabrics, and that's where I got to. That's oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. 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 So start. hopefully I can finish it by today. That'll be great. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Take totally. no pressure, Sarah. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. That's, that's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to miss dinner. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh.
Someone at some point. Edited. <laughs> it might be a separate video, but there is an interview with Nora. Here, here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, there'll be an interview with Nora that happened today, which was really special. And she's just so incredibly yeah. generous with yeah. her time. And Sweet. she has stayed at the retreat for the full two days. Yeah. Um, and made her way around everyone and had conversations yeah, yeah, with everyone yeah. and just, you know, signed charts and all yeah. of this. So mm -hmm. if you ever get a chance to meet Nora, and you will because she's coming to the retreat next year in mm -hmm. Australia in yeah, February. So, um, it will yeah. be on the Central Coast, north of Sydney. I'm doing some promotion. Yeah. I should get some. <laughs> <laughs> we should get some kind of kickback. Maybe the 10th and the 11th. There you go. So Nora will be at that. So if you're an Aussie stitcher or you're a international, we've had people from yeah. New Zealand here. We've had people from Tasmania, which is like oh, yeah. yeah. they still got the scar. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> it's and she's doing American um, retreats as well. So if you ever get a chance to go along to one of these, if yeah, you're a Mirabilia stitcher, if you've ever yeah. thought about being a Mirabilia stitcher. <laughs> We become, a really become a, yeah. <laughs> We will enable you to do yeah. such things. So Definitely. yeah. So yeah. anything else to share, girls? What other? Oh, and of course, meeting these lovely ladies, as Joe said before, mm -hmm. has just been such a highlight for us. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I've been watching Jan's videos since. I've been watching yours for so long, yeah, and then we, we, I was, we were walking before we, when we first got here. Yeah. I was walking out a door, she walked in the door and we just went, ah! <laughs> you know, just to... much taller than I thought you were. Oh, apparently. I was on a step, yeah. I'm not some giant freak, by the way. Normal height. She's just short. Yeah, um, right. But that's been a really beautiful thing, to meet old friends and to make new friends. Yeah. So. And can I just say too, like, so I had a massive fangirl moment because you're the one that inspired me to get onto Floss Tube. Claire oh, is the yeah. lady. Oh. Tell me about Floss Tube. Well, Jan oh, inspired me to get on Floss Tube. Oh, yeah. oh. And, <laughs> and Carolyn inspired us all. So yeah. we send out love to Carolyn. Yeah, too, who, Carolyn. yeah we send out lots of love to her as well. Mm. So she wished she could be here. And I'm just going to say it too. Carolyn really appreciates all the love and messages that she does get. We, you know, she gets them all. She knows how much she's cared for. She's doing great as well. So uh, a shout out to Carolyn. Yeah, I think absolutely. that's appropriate. Hi, Hi, Carolyn. Carolyn. <laughs> um, yeah. So what do you think, girls? I think, well, I think we need to start thinking about floss tube retreat. Oh, she's yeah, so, yeah, yeah. She's I'm made it. it. I'm calling it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a shout out to Ali's yes, stitching yeah, studio yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we do a shout out to Ladybird Stitch too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else is Belinda in WA? Yeah, yeah, Belinda. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Stitch Bliss. Yeah, Stitch yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, everyone's been talking about couching. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the new black. So, um, oh, and Sylvana. Can we do a shout yeah. out to yeah. oh, oh, Sylvana? Our, oh. our, our stitching sister, um, Sylvana, who does amazing work, and I will definitely be showing photos of her work mm. in this video because she's incredible. She's my inspiration in life, and, pretty much. Yeah. And speaking of inspirational stitches we've met, so mm. that amazing lady who I have forgotten her name because I'm terrible with names. Um, yes, Karen. Oh. Who brought a book of 40 plus photos. 53. And she's Tasmanian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's Tasmanian. She's, yeah. Yeah. she's 53 like so, yeah. mirabilia yeah. that she has mm. stitched. It is incredible. Without counting her Nora Corbett. That's right. Yeah, these are just the yeah. just the mirrors. mirrors. So we've got yeah. some pretty amazing stitches yeah. here. Oh, hi, I Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sharon. Oh, hi, Sharon. Oh, we've got to do a shout out to Sydney Stitcher. Sydney Stitcher. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> oh, and, and Ronnie. Ronnie. Hi. Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> and and Judith. Judith from New Zealand. Oh, and Judith she from New Zealand. Yeah. And her yeah. husband came as well. Yeah. Hi, Judith. So, um, I hope we haven't left anyone out. Yeah, if I've left, if we've left yeah, anyone out, we apologise. We are yes. thinking of you. Yes. It's just we've forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've we forgotten everyone at our table who we've sat with. And oh, yeah, we've had Deborah yeah. Stitches, yeah. Tasha, yeah. Corliss, yeah. and Savannah. Yeah. So, yeah. it's, yeah. and yeah. Joe's mum. Um, yeah. So, yeah. mum, we call her. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so. And Karen from Lennon and Fresh. Yeah. And Karen. Yeah. Yeah. She, you Thank know, you yesterday so much. was her birthday. Did yes, you know I know. It was yeah. a birthday. Wow. Yeah. Her birthday Happy yesterday. birthday, Karen. And she's going to get on um, onto watching Fosstube, she told me. Oh, she better. Because oh, we're yeah. promoting her yeah. business. Yeah. Linen and, and Threads. 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 So <laughs> check it out. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. She's yeah, yeah, she's been, they've, it's been so well organised. Yeah. So, And we're at this beautiful hotel, the Carrington, which is hopefully going to inspire Nora for some beautiful yeah. charts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she told yeah. me today when yeah. she was signing My Fairy Idol. Oh, you talked to Nora? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was talking to Nora. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
she she was like, oh, I said, this is the first um, mirror that I ever bought and I really loved it and everything. Mm. And she goes, oh, well, you can wait a year then because there's something really exciting <gasps> happening. It's going to be a sister piece. Oh, oh, oh and she said, oh. Yeah, oh, and who said there's a sister piece to, oh. to oh. Our Portrait of Veronica? Yes. yes. Yeah. That's going to be coming, coming out. Um, mm. That's in the video interview, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, out to me. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And, and the Zodiacs. And the <laughs> we're probably What's not going to be on Nora's Christmas list now because we've told all these dirty secrets. Oh, yeah. right. But she knows. Oh, and she knows all about Floss Tube and all that yeah. business too. So she knows that we'd be telling it. And she knows about the Man Mermaid. M yes. Yeah, Merman. That is Merman. quite controversial. Yeah, yeah. the Man. She, yeah, yeah. His bum is controversial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. No. <laughs> uh, should we? Should we sign off? Well, we should go do some stitching. Yeah, we should. We, we, we yeah, should. Yeah. Yeah. We've we only got to five. today, barely. No. We're too busy it? having tea with It's nine. almost two, and they're going to be announcing the winner of yep. the items that have been displayed. So oh, we better go watch that. Yeah, we've got to go yeah. watch that. Because right. Sylvana's our... Yeah, yeah. 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 she's from yeah. Britain. <laughs> We're going for her. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> All right. Her stargazer. Amazing. Say yeah. bye. 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 <laughs> so we've been to the retreat, and it's been amazing. It's been... It's been quite an intense couple of days, been a lot of people, meeting a lot of new people, meeting some friends I'd had through Floss Tube and Instagram and Facebook and actually meeting them for the first time and that was amazing. That was really special actually. I got to meet Jan from Thread Garden and we made a connection online Oh, some time ago because I've been watching her videos since whenever she started I don't know what three years ago or more and I always loved Jan's videos and I always thought you know what I reckon we, we, we'd totally be friends anyway yeah we totally are friends she was just amazing we had a great great time getting to know each other although we felt like we'd known each other forever so that was really really special and I got to meet the gorgeous Joanna from uh, Vintage Chic Stitcher and she's divine she's as sweet and lovely as you could imagine and um, she's just a darling and it was so nice to get to spend some time with her some nice long chats late at night over a glass of wine so she's a special girl and got to meet Sarah, Sarah from um, Tipsy Stitcher she's also a gorgeous sweet thing she's really fun good fun girl and it was lovely to get to know her as well. well there was also Tash, um, Star Cross Stitcher. I got to sit next to her at the table. She's lovely. She's good fun. And um, yeah, they were the floss tubers that I got to meet. And that was a real privilege. That was really that was probably the highlight actually of the whole thing. Plus meeting some people I didn't know before. Um, and they were all lovely and meeting some people who knew me and I didn't know them which was kind of trippy but also really beautiful and I really appreciate um, that they knew who I was <laughs> anyway that was really lovely Sharon hi Sharon Taryn hi Taryn um, yeah so that was really that was great and there was some amazing stitches there I mean people have been stitching for forever you know had so many pieces they'd done. I've only finished one Mirabilia. I've only finished Gypsy Queen and I only just started red at the retreat. Um, so they got years of experience on top of me when it comes to Mirabilias but so that was really cool and because there were so many finished pieces there at the retreat and I'll pop in some photos um, after this little blurb however long it goes for. So there was, hun I don't know, I don't know how many pieces they're on display, it was heaps. And just how differently different people approached the same chart and mirabilias in general was pretty spectacular. Like the colour choices for fabric, the changes people made, whether they were subtle or significant. And um, the outstanding one is, and I'll talk about her again because I'm going to totally be her best friend at whether she wants it or not is Sylvana who stitches um, uh, uses like a satin stitch or thread painting for hair stem stitch stem stitch anyway 
she showed me how to do it and I'm totally copying her and I'll put in some photos of her work too um, so I was really really inspiring to see that and I I'll probably jab it about this enough at the retreat and I'll probably jab it about it on another bit of the video but I think it's amazing how you can take the same chart and just the ways that we all interpret that is yeah it's incredible it can we can all even if you do it as charted two pieces will probably look a bit different you know have your own little signature to it so that was really cool I mean probably the you know the biggest sort of oh, I guess the most sort of um, dramatically spectacular thing was the fact that Nora Corbett was there and not only was she there she pretty much spent the entire time in the room with us and she made time to talk to like everyone if you were open to talking to Nora she somehow made her way to you and had a really genuine conversation it was quite it was quite amazing I don't know that many people who can do that um, that really made a connection with and I mean there's a you know we did a video with um, Tipsy Stitcher Vintage Chic and um, Thread Garden and myself we did a video together we all talked about this a little bit how we all had special moments but we really did we all had these individual really like genuinely special moments with Nora which was unexpected and just really nice um, which is nice when you meet someone that's so famous in our little niche world of cross stitch um, she's pretty much you know, I, I mean, I think she's probably the first designer name that comes to my mind. You know, we might think of Heaven and Earth and, you know, there's not one, there's not one specific designer um, or artist. You know, Joan Elliott and I don't know, I, I, I mean, there's so many names. I'm not, you know, it's not a competition or a comparison. But anyway, she's a big name. And for her to give us her time was yeah impressive and probably a little bit draining on her really because I don't know that she's necessarily a um, socially gregarious I mean she's very animated and she's got you know bursting with personality but she's probably more of an introvert than an extrovert in some ways and it must have been pretty draining to have that much attention on her but she dealt with it incredibly well so she gets five stars out of five um, we got the exclusive mirabilia design which I think everyone agreed was really nice like it was it's a really nice design and you'll see it a little mermaid called Mira I think I think that's her name anyway that was really cute and that was a nice little special thing and we also got a small, um, well not small, it's the size it should be, a, um, a counting pin, a mermaid counting pin, which was cute as a boot. Big glare on my, on the image, is there? Oh, it's me. So I've got the sun over there. Um, yeah, and Linen and Threads, who are uh, the people who organised the retreat, that's Karen and Brendan, her husband. Um, they did a really good job running it and they had their little store there. They brought along, you know, all their, you know, a whole lot of Mirabilia and Nora Corbett charts um, as well as she had some prairie, I think, you know, I mean, you know, I don't really stitch primitive stuff, but she had a whole lot of those sort of samplers and I've got to say, in real life they were beautiful really really nice but you'll be pleased to know I have stuck pretty well well I've I've kept a stitch from stash like a trooper I I didn't I didn't rack up any expenses oh I wrapped up plenty of expenses being away but um, not 
that count towards stitch from stash. I just bought some needles for five bucks. Apparently they don't count, so. But that's just because I don't feel the need to um, buy charts if I'm not ready to stitch them. I started on red and I still have, as far as mirabilias go, I still have white Christmas to stitch. So I didn't buy any mirabilias because who knows what will come out in the future and I might she might release one that I just love even more than the ones that I love now. So I didn't buy any charts. I didn't buy the beads for red or anything like that because I'm a feel I figure I'm a fair way off needing them. So yeah, so I did good on that respect. If there was something I really wanted to buy, I would have bought it. Um, but I didn't have that urge to do that, so that was so that was fine. Um, uh, another two highlights was we had all the designs there at the retreat that other stitchers had stitched, that retreaters had brought along to show. And I didn't realize that we were gonna have a competition, a vote for best unframed and best framed piece. It hadn't even occurred to me that we'd be doing that. And I don't know how many pieces there were. They're probably more unframed than framed, but there was plenty of framed. Um, linen and Threads did bring along a lot of their model stitches that I think it's Naomi. It's one of the main stitches of that. And they were spectacular. So we had, we had all these many, many, many pieces there to, to vote for. I was thrilled because the piece I voted for for best framed one deservingly which was Sylvana's piece Stargazer it's so beautiful just the uh, stitches she uses in the fabric and it was framed beautifully it just looked spectacular it was wonderful sorry I'm gonna have a drink um, and second in the framed piece was Hannah um, another girl I know with her Raven Queen which is also deserving when I saw her posted online when she finished it I thought it was spectacular and it, yeah it was beautiful so so it was really cool that they won those and then for the unframed there was um, equal three three equal first there was a tie for first so they didn't give out a second prize there was just tie first place and one was for Siren and the Shipwreck. And I've got a photo of that and I don't, I, I remember the woman and I just, I'm sorry, I forget her name. Um, I know it's gonna, I'm gonna kick myself. Um, so S Siren and the Shipwreck won and that was, that was lovely. Enchanted Mermaid and I don't know who stitched that one, unfortunately. And Enchanted Mermaid is beautiful and Jen, was actually stitching that there it's it's really nice chart the tail on that mermaid is pretty awesome and then I got a first as well which was for gypsy which honestly I was surprised because there was so many pieces there there was so many pieces there and they were I was like Whoa, blown away particularly because I had I didn't really change it except to do the skin one over one and um, and um, couching for the back stitch so anyway that was nice that was really lovely to win that and I won a, a um, I'll put a photo in of it anyway a little set of antique style uh, scissors and a tape measure and it was I was ah, Anyway, I was totally chuffed with that. It was really lovely to get that. Um, I'm not sure if there were any others there. I did see one other lady who had a skin one over one. But I don't know that it was entered in the competition because you could only enter one in each category, I think. Anyway, so one over one wasn't as... You know, because everyone's stitch. Sorry, I'm just changing speeds and over training, taking trucks and stuff. Skin one over one isn't, didn't seem to be as common 
as I had in my head that it was. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's just how that was. Anyway, so that was definitely a highlight. I'm trying to get my cruise control to do the things I want it to do. Come on, cruise control. really exciting thing was doing that little interview with Nora Corbett which was really it was funny how that came about because I said to Jan because I was sitting next to Jan at the retreat and I said to Jan I said do you think it'd be weird like do you think it'd be weird if I went up to Nora and said asked if I could do a little interview do you think that'd be bizarre and Jan was like oh, I don't know maybe I was like yeah no nah, I feel weird about it you know, I don't want to, you know, put pressure on her for that. Anyway, and then later on, I went up to Nora for the first time and just to get my charts signed because she was signing people's charts and backs of finished pieces and stuff, which was nice. And um, when I went up to her, Karen said, oh, this is one of our floss tubers. And Nora's like, oh, wow, oh, yeah, but, you know, floss, in her American accent, which I won't even attempt Oh yeah, floss tube. Yeah. Oh, I did a little video with I can't, you know, someone at the American one. And oh, if you want to do, you know. And I said, oh, oh, yeah. I was gonna ask you, but I didn't want to be all weird and fangirl or whatever. She's like, no, no, that'd be great. I'd love to. You ask me anything, that'd be fantastic. I was like, ah. So she landed in my lap, which was really nice of her she was really good at that <laughs> she was really good at giving you what you wanted without you having to ask it's a talent um, yeah so then we we got to sit down and have a little chat for 15 minutes and Jan held the camera and we had a little gas bag and filmed it all and asked her a couple of questions so that'll be posted I'll put that up probably separately to to this video so that was cool the whole thing was cool. We went out for dinner. Didn't do anything else in Katoomba. Katoomba's, um, it's just west of Sydney, for those who don't know. It's just west of Sydney in what we call the Blue Mountains in Katoomba and it's really very nice sort of mountainy, villagey, you know, artsy, crafty, boutique-y, real weekend, weekender trip sort of place. I've been there before, but I didn't actually get a chance to get out and see anything this time around because I was too busy inside stitching and gas bagging, which is what it's all about, right? Um, so, yeah, we just sort of sat around and did a bit of stitching, probably not as much as I thought we would or as much as you think we did. <laughs> um, a lot of eating. Because there was morning tea, lunch, and afternoon tea provided. Plus, we went out for dinner every night, you know, in some organised group. And then we got breakfast provided with our accommodation as well, which fortunately was just continental, you know, toast and fruit and cereal sort of breakfast. So, I've drunk a lot of coffee. I'm feeling a bit dehydrated feeling tired which is another reason why I thought I might film this video <laughs> might wake me up a bit I've actually stopped and had a little nap um, but I have uh, another two hours to go till I get home so that's it uh, check you later and uh, thanks for watching